Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is um, we are going to be installing a phone. Just a regular digital uh, uh, Avaya IP, or not an IP, sorry, excuse me, just a regular digital Avaya phone uh, in a room today. And I'm going to show you real quick uh, our Avaya phone system. And this is the IP Office uh, uh, 500. And um, we've got uh, a couple expansion units here. Um, I think you get a few IP licenses, uh, at least with the old expansion units. You get uh, free IP licenses with them. Uh, and then here uh, are the uh, additional control modules, digital stations for you know, digital or analog telephones, uh, which uh, you would plug in a... Uh, from this, you would plug in, it would go directly into whatever uh, distribution frame you have, and then it would go to like a uh, like a normal jack, uh, like down here, for instance, which normally is labeled in your big corporate environments. Um, so basically, we can look on the back of this thing. Um, uh, this is where all the expansion control units down here plug in, as you can see, one, two, three. Um, you can control them with uh, this little DTE interfaces. Um, not really sure what the CFTI is for. I'm pretty sure that's for if you want to flash it. Uh, the audio. Um, I'm pretty sure that's for like if you have like hold music or something. Some kind of like uh, like we have this uh, audio distribution system that we use in the warehouse. Um, that ha we have speakers out in the warehouse that we play music for the employees. Uh, but also we use it in conjunction with the phone system. Uh, there's a serial port, you can control the Avaya system, uh, you can administer it via serial port. Um, there's a WAN, two WAN ports. Uh, that plugs in, I believe, directly to the, um, I think it's DSL? No, it's Comcast. It, yeah, it's Comcast. Um, and then a little USB port, I'm sure, for firmware upgrades or just other miscellaneous crap. Uh, and then there's a bunch of serial numbers. So, anyways, uh, let's go grab and... Uh, digital telephone which they are right here as you can see it's just a normal digital telephone it's a 5410 I don't know if you can really see that but um, it's got a uh, just a normal RJ11 port on it uh, which you can then pretty much take you know you're kinda like okay well if you have data jacks in the wall how are you gonna use uh, RJ11 ports well basically um, you want to use uh, one of these cables that we have here that takes I mean this is the best method because you don't want your cable you know jostling around an uh, 8 pin uh, hole when you only really have 4 pins and you've got a smaller uh, jack head but um, on one end it's standard ethernet just has 4 wires in it and then on the other it's RJ11 and it's uh, wired up appropriately so um, anyways uh, I'm going to go uh, install this phone so as you can see, um, we have it plugged into the uh, voice jack. We have dedicated voice data jacks. They're really just data jacks. We just have them labeled as voice for uh, uh, just organization purposes. So if you look, uh, MV, it goes to the main distribution frame. V is in voice, and it's port 57. So it's hooked in the telephone, and as you can see, the telephone is not on. It's not being powered because there's no signal going to it. So we'll have to go back into the MDF and hook up port 57, take that from the main distribution frame to the IP Office 500 control unit. So let's go do that now. Okay, so now let's look at the voice jack that we talked about. Let's find it in here. 56, 57, and as you can see I've already got a cable plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this to uh, one of these units down here and it looks like we have a few ports free. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that.
mean, now that you can see after I've um, plugged in the uh, cable from the distribution, uh, the voice distribution frame to the phone now to this jack, um, uh, we can simply log in. So, um, but before we do that, I don't know what extension this is going to be. So let's hop on to the uh, Vea Phone Manager software and create the extension. So now that we after we were in the software, set the extension, we're just going to log in. 307, press pound, password, we set it to 1234 by default, and they can change this when they want to. So, as you can see, we program the name training room. It is extension 307. So, let's try and call my extension here. You can see that's me. not going to pick up so yeah obviously because I'm not at my desk so anyway, anyway I hope you liked it how to set up an Avaya phone with um, IP Office 500